Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In today's video I want to show you how you guys can get started with Apache Hoodie CLI running locally in a matter of minutes using Docker container. For this demo, we'll be using Glue 4 image and the reason for choosing Glue 4 image is it comes pre-installed with Spark, Java and lot other components. So basically makes things very easy. So without wasting any further time, let's take a look on how you guys can get started with Hoodie CLI running locally in matter of minutes. So the first step is we need to create an AWS profile. So let's take a look at the process. Open up your terminal and fire the command AWS configure hyphen hyphen profile space glue 4. After that insert your AWS access key, insert your secret key, region you can set that to US East 1 and the format would be JSON. Step 2 we need to spin up our docker container. So copy paste all of the code that is provided on the github or the LinkedIn page. Uh, this will basically start your AWS glue 4 running locally. Now the only thing that you would have to change is in the volume section, please make sure to change this particular path. If you're using a Mac OS, uh, make, uh, provide the path where your AWS credentials are stored. In Mac, usually it is under user, your username, and there must be a folder called .aws. If you're using Windows, usually uh, these profiles are saved under C, user, the name of a user, and there will be a folder called .aws. So now what I would do, I would say docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus d and hit enter and as you can see this has started my container running locally in the background now this container is about two to three gigabytes in size so it could take about five to ten minutes depending upon your internet uh, speed step three we need to exec into the container and run us a, a script that i have written so let me show you that process uh, open your Docker desktop and you should be seeing your container is running. Click on the container. You should see a tab which says exec. Click on that and now uh, you should be inside the running container. Now that you are inside the container, we will be creating a file called setuphoodie.shell file. This will install all the dependency for us. So let's take a look at the process. Now inside the container, hopefully the font size uh, should be visible now. Uh, if you do PWD, I'm inside home glue user hyphen workspace. Now create a new file inside this. So we're going to create a file over here. We'll be using this particular command nano setup hoodie dot shell. So we are creating a shell file. Okay. Now simply copy paste all of the code given here. Again, this will install everything for you. Now paste that in here. Now press command O or control O and hit enter to save it and then control X on Windows to exit the file or command X to exit. So now I have exited, right? You can also do cat setup.shell and again, make sure that you know you have saved this particular file. Now that we have saved, now all we need to do is we need to run this particular one. So now I'm gonna be doing this particular command chmod plus x so we're going to give the permission and then we're going to run setup.shell hoodie setup.shell file now i'm going to execute this will install all the necessary jar files all the necessary packages that are required and uh, this should be done in a matter of a uh, couple of minutes so let's be patient and as you can see everything is installed if i do ls i see a folder called cli staging so i'm going to go inside the folder now as you can see, everything is now installed over here. Now, the next step is you need to set a couple of environment variable, AWS access and secret key. So these are the two variables that you wanna set, uh, you know, re set your re uh, region as US East one. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna pause the video because I'm gonna be setting my access and secret key. So I don't wanna show that in the video. So I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna set these two variables and I'm gonna resume that. I am back and I was able to set uh, these two environment variable as well. Uh, now uh, things are very easy. Uh, the, sh the shell file has done everything for us, right? So if you do ls, if I just zoom in a little bit, right, you will see a folder called hoodie um, CLI staging. So, you know, go inside the folder. 
Now we can start the hoodie uh, uh, CLI. So we can uh, copy this command. Oops, I have a hard time copying this for some reason. Okay. Uh, paste that in and uh, sure enough our hoodie CLI has now started as you can see right so now uh, you can start firing all the commands you can say help this will show you all the you know commands that you can fire here so what we will do is I'm gonna show you how to connect to a hoodie uh, derelict connect hyphen hyphen I hope this is visible uh, hyphen hyphen path and then what we need to do is we need to provide the S3 path where your hoodie transactional data like is. So sure enough, you know, now it's connected. Now I can say, hey, you know what? Show comments. Oops, let me verify the syntax. Was it show commit? Oh yeah, commit show, my bad. <laughs> all right, so commit show. And you know, you can, you know, uh, see all the comments here, right? So. What you have seen is how you can get started with Hoodie CLI uh, running locally with Docker container. The entire steps are available on my LinkedIn blog post and also the shell script, which does all the heavy lifting for you, right? So basically creates the directory, downloads all the jar file with appropriate versions, uh, then sets the environment variable, and then of course uh, you start the Hoodie CLI. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe and share the video with your coworkers and colleagues. And I'm going to be seeing you in the next video.